Hey guys, hope you're well. Lawrence here from The Spinery. Today we're going to pull back the curtain and expose the difference between natural versus synthetic latex foams. You're not going to want to miss this one. While our mattress or pillows don't contain synthetic latex, we do get a lot of questions about synthetic latex sold by other companies here in Ireland. So in this video, we're going to explain the differences between natural, synthetic, and blended latexes and why these differences are so significant when purchasing a natural latex mattress or pillow. Natural latex is a white liquid that's extracted from a rubber tree, sometimes known as the Hevea Brazilianus. Now, rubber trees, I don't know if you know this, they're indigenous to South America. However, they were spread around the world in the 19th century due to their high value in a variety of products. The way we get our latex from the rubber trees is very similar to maple trees being tapped for their maple syrup. A very small piece of bark, it doesn't hurt the tree at all, it's cut away, and the latex quickly begins flowing from that cut into these what we call vessels or containers. And the latex is then collected and shipped to our factory to make mattresses and pillows. Natural latex foam has a uniquely supported and springy feel, something we call resiliency. And a high quality natural latex foam, like the kind we use in our pillows and our Fitzwilliam mattress, is extremely durable and should last longer than any other type of mattress. While it does have a, 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 a mild odor, sometimes described as like a vanilla, like natural smelling feel, uh, natural latex doesn't have that chemically or abrasive odor that you typically get in synthetic or petroleum-based latex products. The only negative of using natural latex foam is that it's it's more difficult, and this is a small thing, to make aesthetically perfect during the production process, as opposed to like a synthetic latex foam. Small air pockets sometimes can be present in the foam. However, here at the Spinery, we maintain a strict standard and ensure uh, inconsistencies are absolutely kept to almost zero to minimum. Now, synthetic latex is an artificially produced compound that imitates the properties of natural latex. However, rather than being harvested from trees or tree sap, it's made from, get this, petrochemicals. And there are many types of synthetic latex that exist, but the, but the main one would be, would be like styrene, butadiene, rubber, and this type of synthetic latex is used in a wide variety of synthetic latex foam products. Synthetic latex foam is described as more dull, less springy, uh, feel than natural latex foam. It also tends to be less durable than natural latex foam and tends to tear. Like here's here's some, something here, just pieces break off and tends to tear. And synthetic latex foam typically is not as strong and and it has a real foul uh, chemical or abrasive smell. Where to find uh, synthetic latex foam that meets the industrial textile and furniture emission standards? The last type of latex foam is a mix of both types that we've already discussed. Retailers mostly use a thing called blended latex, and this is because for many latex mattress retailers and manufacturers, it's just simply a cheaper way to produce latex foam while still being able to claim to contain natural latex. However, often blended latex contains mostly synthetic, which are petrochemicals, rather than natural latex coming from the sap of a tree. And they do this by making such claims as made with, let's say, 100% natural latex, or contains natural latex, or 100% natural latex, or natural origin. And others sometimes merely make false claims that their mattresses are 100% natural latex. Blended latex shares many of the properties of both natural and synthetic latex, however, we find that natural latex outperforms them all in terms of comfort, resiliency, health, and eco-friendliness. How can I tell if my mattress is real or synthetic latex? Well, being tricked into buying a fake or synthetic latex mattress is easy or pillow. For example, we get so many comments from people uh, who have bought a latex mattress from uh, one of these big, well-known uh, big box stores but it's simply not the real thing. And that's why they're not getting the results that they should get or expect. Or people looking to get a latex mattress or pillow primarily rely on the website to represent their product honestly. Unfortunately, as we mentioned earlier, some mattress retailers use misleading language to convince you that their synthetic latex mattress is actually natural. Here are some tips so you can check yourself at your local showroom. To recognize synthetic or blended latex, look at the latex sample provided for you at the, as a store demo. And signs that the latex you're looking at might be styrene, butadiene, or, or what they call SBR. It turns yellow, it crumbles as it ages. Uh, the foam easily tears apart, especially on the sides of the pillow or mattress. And it keeps a chemical smell, sometimes even for months or even years after the purchase. How to tell if a latex mattress is really only a layer of of latex laminated into polyurethane or a petroleum based foam. Try bending the mattress. In an all latex mattress, it will fold in half much easier than a typical spring. In fact, you won't, it'd be really hard to bend a spring or polyurethane foam. 
Look at the law label for the contents by percentage. Unfortunately, the latex listed will not specify whether it's natural or synthetic. However, it will help you uh, as you identify if only a layer of latex is being used. Now, a really good thing is to smell the latex. You should notice a chemical smell if polyurethane or in synthetic latex is being used. Natural latex will have a vanilla-like smell. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna lift the mattress. Natural latex is much, much heavier than synthetics, and you should notice a significant difference. That's why you simply can't ship a, a, a natural latex mattress in one of these boxes, these box things that are trending. It's just too heavy, it's just too good quality. You can't do that. Uh, feel the mattress through the sides. You might be able to feel through the transition points of these layers. Plus, polyfoam feels noticeably different than latex. It doesn't have that rebound or what we call resiliency. And remember, resiliency, when we're designing mattress, that's the holy grail in, for mattress designs in terms of comfort, in terms of waking up in the morning feeling not stiff and, and not in pain and having a great day. Hopefully some of these tips will help ensure that you get the real thing, a real natural latex mattress that will give you better sleep, stay durable, supportive, and feel genuinely much more comfortable. We hope this video helped explain the differences between natural versus synthetic or artificial latex. If you're curious about what makes our Fitzwilliam natural latex mattress special, please click right here. Enjoy your day. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon.